Hello students, in the previous session of chapter 8 introduction to trigonometry, we have already discussed about the meaning of trigonometry, real life applications of trigonometry and the 6 trigonometric functions. Now in this session, we are going to discuss about the trigonometric ratios of some specific angles 0 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree. 60 degree and 90 degree. So, we are going to start with the trigonometric ratio of 45 degree. For this, we need to construct a right angle triangle which is right angled at B. Now, we have to consider one angle as 45 degree. Suppose this angle is 45 degree. Since you know by angle sum property, angle of the triangle, the sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degree. You know the measure of two angles which is 90 degree and 45 degree. So, you can easily calculate the angle C which is 45 degree. Now, angle A and angle C both are equal. So, side opposite to equal angles are equal means what? AB is the side opposite to angle C and BC is the side opposite to angle A. So, AB and BC both are equal. Now, when in a triangle two sides are equal, it is called an isosceles triangle. Now, we are we have AB is equal to BC. Let us suppose the measure of these sides be A means what AB is also A, BC is also A. We know two sides. So, we have to calculate the measure of the third side. For this, we need to apply Pythagoras theorem. According to Pythagoras theorem, the hypotenuse square AC is the hypotenuse. So, AC square is equal to the square of other two sides which is AB square plus BC square. Now, AB and BC you know that is A. Simply substitute the value of AB and BC, you will get AC square as 2 a square. So, what will be AC? Root 2 A. So, you know AB is A, BC is A and AC is root 2 A. Now, you need to calculate the value of trigonometric ratios with respect to angle A which is 45 degree. C. As I told you, AB, BC both are A, AC is A root 2. Now, apply the definition of trigonometric ratio. Sin 45 degree, 45 degree means angle A, we need to consider angle A. This is perpendicular upon hypotenuse. Perpendicular is BC, hypotenuse is AC because angle B is 90 degree and angle A is 45 degree. So, you will get substitute BC as A, AC as A root 2, A and A will get cancelled out, you will get the value as 1 upon root 2. For cos 45 degree, by definition you have base upon hypotenuse, here base with respect to angle A is AB and hypotenuse is AC. So, so, simply substitute the value of AB which is A, AC, A root 2, simply cancel out A, you will get 1 upon root 2. Now, comes to 10 45. 
this is by definition perpendicular upon base. Here perpendicular is BC, base is AB, value of BC and AB are same. So, these are A upon A, you will get 1. Now, what about the other three trigonometric ratios which is cosecant, secant and cot? Angle is given as 45 degree. As you know, cosecant function is reciprocal of sine function which you will get 1 upon sin 45. So, simply just reciprocal of sin function 1 upon root 2 reciprocal will be root 2. For secant function it is reciprocal of cos function. Here value of cos function is 1 upon root 2. So, reciprocal will be root 2. Cot function reciprocal of tan function reciprocal of 1 is always 1. So, you will get the value of cot function as 1. Now comes to trigonometric ratios for angle equal to 30 degree and 60 degree. For this we need to construct an equilateral triangle, equilateral triangle PQR. In equilateral triangle all sides are equal and all angles are equal to 60 degree. So, that means what? Angle P is of 60 degree, angle Q is of 60 degree and angle R is of 60 degree. Now, we will drop a perpendicular from vertex P to the opposite side Q R. Now, P S will be the perpendicular and perpendicular will bisect these angles, angle P. What will you get? Q P S angle is of 30 degree, angle R P S will be 30 degree and this will also bisect Q R. So, Q S and S R both are equal. So, the perpendicular from any vertex we have taken the vertex P on the opposite side, opposite side of vertex P is Q R is coincident with the angle bisector of that particular vertex. As I have told you, these angles are of 30 degree and the perpendicular bisects the opposite side, opposite side is Q R. So, it will bisect so, Q S is equal to S R. So, if a perpendicular P S is dropped on Q R, then angle Q P S and S P R are of 30 degree and Q S and S R are equal. Now, let us consider the measure of sides of an equilateral triangle as 2 A units. Q R is also 2 A. So, what will be the measure of length of side Q S and S R? It will be 2 A divided by 2. What will you get? A units. So, Q S and S R will be A, P Q and P R will be 2 A. Now, we need to find out length of side P S. For this we need to apply Pythagoras theorem in triangle P S Q. So, according to statement P Q square hypotenuse square is equal to the square of other two sides which is Q S and P S. So, what will you get? P Q square is equal to Q S square plus P S square. As you need to find out the value of P S, so just transpose P S and P Q here. What will you get? P S square is equal to P Q square minus Q S square. Since the value of P Q is 2 A and Q S is A, simply substitute the values. After solving, what will you get? P S as root 3 A. 
Now you know this angle is 30 degree and you need to find out the trigonometric values with respect to angle 30 degree. So, what will you get? Sin of angle S P Q S P Q. So, according to the definition of sin function perpendicular upon hypotenuse what will you get? Here perpendicular is what? With respect to angle P is QS or SQ divided by hypotenuse. What will be the hypotenuse? PQ. So, A divided by 2A. A and A will get cancelled out. You will get 1 by 2. Now, cosecant function is just the reciprocal of sine function. So, you will get 1 upon sin 30, the value will become 2. For cos function, cos 30 degree, according to the definition of cos function, base upon hypotenuse, what will be the base with respect to angle P means this angle SPQ with respect to angle SPQ, what will be the base? Base will be PS upon hypotenuse, hypotenuse is PQ, simply substitute the value, we have just find out the value of PS as root 3A, so root 3A divided by 2A, what will you get? Root 3 by 2 and secant of 30 degree, what will you get? 1 upon cos 30, just the reciprocal of cos function, you will get 2 by root 3. Now, what about tan 30? Tan 30 is what? According to definition of tan function perpendicular upon base, simply substitute SQ upon PS, A upon root 3 A, cancel out A, you will get 1 by root 3 and cot function is just the reciprocal of tan function, so you will get root 3. Similarly, Ratios of 60 degree are determined by finding the ratios of angle SQP. Now, SQP is 60 degree. Since we have just calculated the value of PS, so we can find out the value of trigonometric functions sin 60 degree as perpendicular upon hypotenuse. Now, we are considering this angle. So, what will be the perpendicular over here? perpendicular will become PS with respect to angle PQS and hypotenuse will be PQ. So, what will you get? A upon root 3 divided by 2A, cancel out A, you will get root 3 by 2. For cos 60 degree, you can find out the value easily. For tan 60 degree, root 3 cot, cosecant and secant function are just the reciprocal of tan, sin and cos function. So, now we are going to discuss about the value of trigonometric ratios for angle equal to 0 degree and 90 degree. For this we need to construct a right angle triangle which is right angled at P. As you can see ABC is a right angle triangle, right angled at B. Now tell me, if I decrease the length of side BC, what I am saying? If I decrease the length of side BC, suppose keep on decreasing, keep on decreasing, what will happen? What will happen? It will become the point C and B will coincide. So, angle C will become 90 degree and AC and AB side are equal and angle A will become 0. Okay. So, in triangle ABC which is right angled at B, if the length of side BC is continuously decreasing then the value of angle A will keep on decreasing that means it will become 0. 
similarly the value of c is increasing the value of c will become 90 degree here it is an acute angle but when i keep on decreasing the length of side bc it will become 90 degree so we have bc as 0 because i have decreased the length of side bc angle a will become 0 and angle c will become 90 degree and you can say ab and ac both the sides are equal now first of all we will take angle a we will find out the trigonometric ratios with respect to angle a angle a is 0 degree now sin of angle a means sin of 0 degree if we will consider this triangle triangle abc what will be the sine function according to the definition it will be perpendicular upon hypotenuse what will be the perpendicular perpendicular will be bc and hypotenuse will be ac but bc has become zero because we have just decreased the length of side bc so bc is zero divided by ac and zero divided by any number will always give you zero so sine of 0 degree will be 0. Cosecant of 0, cosecant is simply the reciprocal of sine function. Sine is here we are calculated that sine is 0. So, what about cosecant 0 degree? 1 upon 0, any number divided by 0 is not defined means infinity. You cannot define this number. So, cosecant 0 is not defined. Now, cos function means cos 0 degree. Cos 0 AB upon AC and you know AB and AC are equal. So, you can replace AB by AC. So, AC by AC will give you 1. So, cos of 0 degree is 1 only. Secant is the reciprocal of cos function. So, secant of 0 degree will be 1 upon cos 0 you will get 1 upon 1 which is 1 only. Now comes to tan of 0 degree. Tan is what? Sin upon cos. So I can say sin of 0 degree upon cos of 0 degree as sin of 0 degree is what? 0 and cos of 0 degree is what? 1. So 0 upon 1 is always 0. Cot function cot of 0 degree is the reciprocal of tan function. So, 1 upon tan 0 degree means what? 1 upon 0 and 1 upon 0 means not defined which is infinity also. Now comes to taking the ratio for angle C as 90 degree. Now, as I told you I have just decreased BC. So, angle C will become 90 degree and AB and AC are equal. So, now trigonometric functions with respect to angle C are sin of 90 degree is AB upon AC, AB upon AC and AB and AC are equal. So, AC upon AC will give you 1. So, sin 90 degree is 1. Cosecant 90 reciprocal of sin 90 you will get 1 upon 1 which is also 1 cos 90 degree it will be BC upon AC what will you get BC will become 0 so 0 upon AC will give you 0 so the value of cos 90 degree will be 0 secant 90 degree is the reciprocal of cos 90 degree which you will get not defined because 1 upon 0 is not defined tan 90 degree you can write sin 90 degree upon cos 90 degree as you know the value of sin 90 degree is 1 and cos 90 degree is 0. So, 1 upon 0 is again not defined. So, the value of tan 90 degree is not defined. Now comes to cot 90 degree. It is the reciprocal of tan function. So, 1 upon tan 90 degree 0 upon 1 which is 0 substitute these values in a table. 
See we have considered with respect to angle A, so the trigonometric functions will be sin A, cos A, tan A, cot A, secant A and cosecant A. You have to just simply remember the value of sin A which is 0, half, 1 by root 2, root 3 by 2 and 1. Now as I have considered these angles which we have just already calculated in the previous slide. So, 0 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree. Cos function is just the reverse of sin function. Here you can see one is in the last column and here one is in the first column. Here 0 is in the first column and here 0 is in the last column. So, cos function is simply the reverse of sin function. Now, how will you calculate the value of tan function? Just divide sin A upon cos A. You will get the value of tan function. See 0 upon 1, you will get 0. 1 by 2 divided by root 3 by 2, you will get 1 by root 3. 1 by root 2 divided by 1 by root 2, you will get 1. Root 3 by 2 divided by 1 by 2, you will get root 3 and 1 divided by 0 is not defined. Now, these three values are clear to you. How you will find cot A? It is just simply the reciprocal of tan A. So, just reciprocal means what? 0 by 1, 1 by 0. So, it will become not defined. 1 by root 3, reciprocal will be root 3. 1 reciprocal will be 1. Root 3 reciprocal will be 1 by root 3 and not defined means 1 by 0. So, reciprocal will be 0. Second function, it is simply the reciprocal of cos function. What will you get? 1 upon 1 reciprocal 1. Similarly, you can find out these values. For cosecant A, simply the reciprocal of sin A. You will get the table very easily. Now, let us solve exercise 8.2. Question number 1, evaluate the following. Part A, we need to find out the value of this sin 60 degree into cos 30 degree plus sin 30 degree into cos 60 degree. As we have just calculated the values of the functions sin cos 10, we just substitute the values over here. Sin 60 degree is what? Root 3 by 2. Cos 30 degree is what? Root 3 by 2. Sin 30 is 1 by 2 and cos 60 is 1 by 2. Now, root 3 into root 3 will give you 3 and 2 into 2 will give you 4. For this, 1 into 1 will give you 1 and 2 into 2 will give you 4. Just take the LCM of this. What will you get? 4 in the denominator and after solving you will get 4 in the numerator. So, 4 and 4 will get cancelled out, you will get 1. Now, B part, in the numerator we have 5 cos square 60 degree plus 4 secant square 30 degree minus 10 square 45 degree and in the denominator we have sin square 30 degree plus cos square 30 degree. So, for this we just need to substitute the values of these functions with respect to their angles. Now, cos 60 degree is what? 1 by 2, but we have here cos square 60 degree. So, we need to put square over here. What will you get? 5 into 1 by 2 whole square plus sin as it is 4 into secant square 30 degree. Now, secant 30 degree is what? 2 by root 3. So, 4 into 2 by root 3 whole square minus sign as it is 10 square 45. The value of 10 45 degree is what? 1. So, 1 whole square. In the denominator, we have sin square 30 degree. Sin 30 degree is what? 1 by 2. So, we will write 1 by 2 whole square because here we have sin square 30 degree plus sign as it is cos square 30 degree is what? Cos 30 degree is root 3 by 2. So, we have to write root 3 by 2 whole square. 
Now, we have 1 by 2 whole square as 1 by 4. So, 5 into 1 by 4. 2 by root 3 whole square. 2 square is 4. Root 3 square is 3. So, 4 into 2 upon root 3 whole square will give you 16 by 3. Here 1 square is 1. In the denominator, what will you get? 1 by 2 whole square is 1 by 4. Root 3 by 2 whole square is 3 by 4 because root 3 into root 3 will give you 3. So, here you will get root 3 into root 3, 3, 2 into 2 you will get 4. Now, after taking LCM in the numerator and denominator separately, you will get 15 plus 64 minus 12 divided by 12 because LCM of 4 and 3 is 12. Here you have LCM as 4, you will get 4 upon 4. So, after solving, you will get the value as 67 by 12. Now, let us move on to next question. If tan of A plus B is root 3 and tan of A minus B is 1 by root 3. Now, we need to find out the value of A and B. A plus B must be greater than 0 degree and it is less than or equal to 90 degree and we have taken A greater than B. For this, how you will solve this question? Tan A plus B is given as root 3. Now, what will be the value of tan function means what? At what angle you will get the value as root 3 in the tan function? It will be at 60 degree. So, you can write tan A plus B is equal to tan 60 degree. From this equation, you will get A plus B is equal to 60 degree because both have tan. This is equation 1. Also, tan A minus B is 1 by root 3. At what value or at what angle the value of tan function is 1 by root 3? It is at 30 degree. So, it will become tan A minus B is equal to tan 30 degree. After solving, what will you get? A minus B is equal to 30 degree. So, you have two equations with you. A plus B is equal to 60 degree and A minus B is equal to 30 degree. Just add both the equations. What will you get? 2A is equal to 90 degree. So, the value of A will become 45 degree. Now, you can substitute the value of A in any of these equations. So, I have considered equation 1 which was A plus B is equal to 60 degree. Substitute the value of A as 45 degree, solve it, you will get B as 15 degree. As in this question, we need to calculate the value of A and B. So, the value of A is 45 degree and the value of B is 15 degree. Let us take an example. Just see, in triangle PQR means what? I need to construct a triangle PQR which is right angled at Q. I am given with the length of side PQ as 3 centimeter and PR as 6 centimeter. We need to just determine angle QPR, this angle and PRQ. So, how will you calculate this angles? Now, see given PQ as 3 centimeter and PR as 6 centimeter, two sides are known to us. What will you get? When I will divide PQ upon PR, means what? 3 divided by 6, you will get half. 
1 by 2. Now also if I will take angle R, what will be sin R? By definition as you know sin function is perpendicular upon hypotenuse. So, you will get P Q upon P R this is perpendicular with respect to this angle and P R will be the hypotenuse. So, you can say sin R is P Q upon P R. So, from 1 and 2 what will you get? Sin R is equal to half, sin R is equal to half. Now, at what value of the angle sin is half? At 30 degree. So, we have sin r is equal to sin 30 degree. So, what will you get? Angle P R Q is of 30 degree. This angle will be 30 degree. Now, as angle P R Q is 30 and you know angle Q is 90 degree, can you calculate angle Q P R? Just simply apply angle sum property which says the sum of angles of all the three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. You know the two angles, one is 30 degree, one is 90 degree. Then what about the third angle? It will be 60 degree. How? Just see 180 degree is equal to this is 90, this is 30 and you need to calculate this angle, angle QPR. Just solve it, you will get angle QPR as 60 degree. This is your home assignment. Question number 1, you need to just evaluate the following 2 tan square 45 degree plus cos square 30 degree minus sin square 60 degree. You have to just simply substitute the values of these trigonometric ratios with respect to the angles given and you will calculate it. Second part cos 45 degree divided by secant 30 degree plus cosecant 30 degree. Second question if sin of a plus b is given as 1 by 2, cos of a plus b is given as 1 by 2, you need to just determine the values of a and b. And in third question, in triangle ABC which is right angled at B, AB is 5 centimeter and angle ACB is 30 degree, you need to determine the length of sides BC and AC. You can easily solve these questions at home. Let us just quickly recapitulate what we have learned today. The value of trigonometric ratios for 0 degree. 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree. The value of sin A or cos A never exceeds 1 whereas the value of secant A or cosecant A is always greater than 1 or equal to 1. We can observe from the trigonometric table that as angle A increases from 0 to 90 degree, sin A increases from 0 to 1 and cos A decreases from 1 to 0. I hope you have understood the concept discussed today in the class very well. Thank you.